Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lucklight here, and we're continuing Dragon Warrior 2. And uh, we are on the quest to find more keys. That's right, we need to get more keys. Uh, we only have the silver key right now, and... Where the hell's the item shop in this place again? I don't even think there is one. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, we need to pretty much head to the edge of the world to get more keys. So, we're gonna go do that. There are three more keys we need to get. All that open different doors. Uh, we have the golden key, which obviously opens golden doors. We have the... I think it's called the jailer's key, which opens, like, cell doors. And then we have the water gate key, which opens one door in a town somewhere that offers a shortcut on to the way back. And uh, I think it like opens a way to like one cave. So we need all of those keys for our journey, so we might as well go get them now, and that'll open up some more stuff for us to get. And uh, there'll be some minor exploration on the way, so it should be fun. As long as the enemies stay away with the repel spell. So what we need to do is we actually need to follow this coastline all the way back to a cave that we explored way back in the beginning, uh, the Cave of Bravery, where we were looking for uh, the Prince of Kanak, and uh, pretty much head north from there. It's pretty much the easiest way to find this island that I'm getting to. May get into a couple fights on the way, just because there's some strong enemies near the water. But maybe, maybe not. Alright, so let's head north. We should run right into it. Yep, there it is. Anyway, there's a shrine down here, which actually will lead us back to the first castle, Middenhall. So it's good to just, you know, stop by and sell your stuff. So we'll get rid of the junk that I picked up while I was leveling. Just, uh, I think, um, I think the princess had, like, clothes or something that I found. I just find random crap as I go. You know, and as for the fairy water, I'll probably just use it. Use it up. If I'm gonna start relying on repels. Although I might start buying up again in later stages of the game. Alright, where am I going here? Back into the portal. So this portal was a neat little way to show you what you might run into later. That somewhere out there there's a town. And here we are on the other side. So, to the town. When the moon fragment is held upon high, the tide will rise and the seagulls cry. You know, I notice in this game that the first villager you talk to is never the one who's like, welcome to blank, the town of blank. Apparently everybody's a fisherman in this town. But uh, it's always like some random, like, just news. South Iowa's heard the sinking of the Relentless. Some say that the pirates simply left the plug out. Wait, what? Is there like a, like a toy boat? Yes, I am Torval's wife. Just between us, he loves his dogs more than me. Alright. Many are the tales of a mountainous island in the sea and its great cavern said that only one who bears the moon fragment may enter there. Alright, so we need the moon fragment at some point. One day I'll be a great fisherman like Papa. That's good. Thou hast come to Zahan at a poor time. All the men are away fishing at sea. Never to be heard from again. That mutt yonder. Alright, mutt, what do you want? Let's see what you found. The golden key. Which is exactly what we wanted. 
guessing the prince got it. All right, yep. All right, so that's pretty much all that we need to get here in this town for now. We will have to come back at a, a different point, but at this point, not right now. Uh, I forgot to turn on the repel. So now I have to fight tough enemies. Yeah. Oh, and I also learned something. Uh, I was doing some reading on this game, trying to figure out why I'm having so many problems when I don't remember these problems. And uh, apparently, however, how much you're prepared in this game, you're still going to have problems. <laughs> That's what a lot of people say. And the other thing is, uh, apparently, the prince already has his best weapon. Technically, his best weapon. His weapon they will give him the highest tech bar, the Iron Spear. He doesn't get much after that. Although, technically, his best weapon would be the Falcon Sword, because it hits twice. But it costs a lot, and we'll get into that later. Anyway, uh, this shrine has some portals that we can check out. This is called the Fire Monolith. This, uh, since we have the key, we can open it up. Yeah, thanks. This is actually a shrine north of Liamport, so if I ever had to take a short back at, uh, shortcut back here, I could just use that portal if I so inclined. Alright, the next portal leads to another shrine. Here's a hint for the ending. Uh, some say that Hargon has cast a spell over his entire castle that it looks fair and peaceful. Thou will not be deceived if thou hast the gift of Rubis. And to get the gift of Rubis, I have no idea what this is. I better not go out. <laughs> um, the gift of Rubis is gained by having the five crests, which is kind of our main quest. So. And this particular shrine has this old guy who's looking for a token of Erdrich. And he's really mean. But we're here on the uh, bottom edge of Alfgard. I think this is the place in the first game where you got the, uh, I think it's the Rainbow Bridge item. The Rainbow Drop. Anyway, there's one more thing in this place that I remember it was here. And if we use the Echoing Flute, you can hear the echo. And that's because there's a crest here, hidden over on this wall. So I got a, the Sun Crest. And if I look at my stats, there it is. The icon of the Sun Crest. So yeah. While I was here, might as well grab it. Let's throw our repel back up. And uh, wh where we're going is we're heading west to the village of Welgarth. I think it's the name Welgarth. And uh, it holds the third key. But I'm going to stop here on this island. Because... Oh boy, orcs. Let's get rid of these. Uh, every game, I think starting with this one... There is a area called the World Tree, and on the World Tree holds a Leaf of the World Tree, which is the only revive item in the game. So you can carry one if you go to this, you know, particular place and grab one. And I'm getting my butt kicked. I better run. Alright, so let me heal back up. I also don't feel so bad about getting my beat, my butt kicked all the time, because apparently that's just part of the game. <laughs> anyway, if I stop here and search, I'll get a leaf of the world tree. I hear in later versions of the game, I've never played a later version of this game. I hear it like in, you know, the Game Boy version or the iOS version. Uh, there's actually a side quest that happens. They, I guess they put another quest in the game where uh, the Prince of Kanak gets sick, and you have to go to that island to get a leaf and give it to him. 
And if you don't, then he's out of the party. Until you do. Which is pretty interesting to me. I didn't realize that later versions added things. Dost thou think it's my breath? Yeah, absolutely. Alright, so this doesn't look like a town at all. But if I use the key that I just picked up... ...and head downstairs... ...the entire town is down here. Hidden safely. Thanks for the song. Right, I'm gonna check these walls, because I don't know how to... Oh, you know what? It's right there. Said that the greatest shall fall by a spell of his own devising. Well, that's that's scary. Hopefully it's not me. I can't talk over the table. It's true enough. I locked Rogue Festfinger in prison, threw away the key, but he escaped. Well, unfortunately, I can't get into his cell to check it out. So, moving right along. There's an isolated valley northwest of the town, where once a road led to Roan. Roan is the plateau where the final boss has his castle. And it's a, quite a pain in the butt to get through. Not my favorite place. No, I don't have any lottery tickets. Talk to this guy. Argon is a master of disguise, but if he has the charm of Rubis, that will see through the deception. Yeah, I already knew that. So come to buy the jailer's key? I heard it's sold here, perhaps that's a lie. Alright. I like this cheery music. Can you come down here so I can buy something? Thank you. Another tool shop. So we got a medical herb, an antidote herb, a blank, and then a wing of the wyvern. What do you think's in that blank? So thou hast heard about my wares, thee wilt thou take it. Tell nobody that I have sold it. Who shall take it? So for 2,000 gold, I picked up an item. The Jailer's Key. I wonder what happens if you select it again. Oh, okay. Alright, so now we have the Jailer's Key. Arguably one of the most important keys. For the finest water flying cloth, I recommend Don Mahone, who lives in Tune. Yeah, that's one of the best armors, but it takes quite a bit to craft. Weapons and armor. Okay, now, this is the most expensive stuff in the game, and for good reason. It's some of the best in the game. Uh, the Dragon Killer is actually better than the sword I have, even the Erdrick sword. Same thing with the Light Sword. Mink Coat is one of the best armors. Shield strength, best strength, uh, best shield. But as you can see, they're very expensive. So coming back here when I have more money is pretty much what I need to do. Anyway, I'll check out the inn. Oh, the music stopped. All right, so let's use our silver key. See what she has to say. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Got scolded immediately. Alright, so now that I can get the uh, jailer door open, let's go check out that uh, particular cell that our friend Rogue Fastfinger was apparently in. I just have to be careful because sometimes you go into these doors and you get into fights. Hargon dwells on the high plateau of Rhone. Yeah, I said that earlier. And I need the Eye of Malroth to find it. Alright, so where did he go? He ducked out the side here. Curses, I am found. Yes, I am Rogue Fast Figure, and here's the Watergate key. Thanks. Alright, so we have all the keys. I call that a hearty success for this episode. So, on the next episode, we're going to start using these keys. We're going to go to castles and towns that we've already been, and we're going to check them out, and 
see if we can find some useful items out of them. So I hope you join me for it. My name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, and have a good one.